here with us, if he doesn't mind sharing a microphone with me, I just ate some sausage. Uh, well, no, thanks, thanks a lot. Just, just do me a favor and ask me to pull your finger if you're going to make any other kind of um, noises. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, I understand. Uh, are you married? Have a kid or something? Somebody told me about Yeah, it. but, you know, what do you have in mind? <laughs> Now you have a young daughter. Tell us about your Yeah, enough about my kids. What about you? Are you married? <laughs> Did you pound any out? <laughs> I'm divorced. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. They didn't laugh that time. No, they didn't. <laughs> okay, thank okay, you. Thanks cool. for calling. Take care. Hi, FM 102. Hi, what's your name? You're on the air. I'm the fresh one. <laughs> Neil. Neil, you rule. What's up? Um, I just called out. You want to see the Bobcat? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Okay. Bobcat! Neil wants to talk to you. Bobcat, I'm coming right over. <laughs> All right, we're going to the phones right now. You're <laughs> lying! <laughs> we are not going to the phones right now. We taped it. We're All right, tape we're machine. going to the tape machine right we're now. <laughs> Here's Thank the you. phone Thank call. You. Thank you. Oh, you're live on FM 102. Ah! A man who needs no introduction and didn't get one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is me, Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley, I'm here. Me, 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 me. La, ha, ba, da, la, la, la. Okay. Hi, this is Bob K. You're listening to 93 Rock in Sacramento. You're listening to 98.5 Sacramento's K-Zap. Why do I have to tell them if they tuned it in? All right, here we go. Hi, this is Bob K. Goldthwait. Get up! Good morning from the 102 Morning Show! Rise and shine with folks like you! Good morning from the 102 Morning Show! I just about get gold The thing I, I, I dread more than uh, having squirrels in my pants is waking up to keys at. That's KZAP, home of rock and roll. It's, it's more like the kind of minimum of rock and roll. Home of top choice beef. Crank it up? <laughs> we encouraging hearing loss? Chris and Mike, kill your dogs! Kill your dogs! Kill your dogs in the morning with you! Get up in the morning in Sacramento with FM 102! Ow! What is your target audience? I was just on my way to Taco Bell. I just thought I'd stop by. <laughs> you know what happened? He said he's doing a new story by Timothy Larry. But he's lying because his real daddy's Timothy Larry. <laughs> he's on the outside hey. looking in. Hey. 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 Oh, hey. Oh, hey. 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 What's his name? Bobcat. How do you say his last name? Goldwig. Goldwig? Tickets in Salt Lake. Uh, the Mormons don't really seem to be into Bob. Whereas here, where the Monsters of Rock tour. Uh... <laughs> Let's hear it for Catfish Dinner from Missouri. Yeah, man. This song is based on a UFO sighting that uh, Catfish and I had in our truck one night. It's called Flying Saucers Rock and Roll.
Because I don't have any jokes. <laughs> I mean, I hear jokes all the time. I just, um, I just don't like jokes. A joke to me is a lie. You know what I mean? People go, hey, would you like to hear a joke? <laughs> yeah, let me see. I've been doing comedy now for 11 years. Yeah, that'd be a real novel treat. I'd love to hear your joke. <laughs> Is it hot in here or is it me? I was gonna wear my hair up and then I said, no! The humidity will be havoc with your hair! But I'm too. This is the last show of the tour. You don't know what that means to me. I've been on, this is a, a three city tour and it's just... You know, when you get off the road, man. No, actually, it's been 40 cities, and, uh, and I don't want to be rude, but I probably won't remember any of your faces 10 minutes after the show. <laughs> but on tour this year, we've had, I was in Idaho, there was drought, I mean, there's a dust bowl out there. I was down in, um, where else? Florida, I had a monsoon. Los Angeles, there was an earthquake. It's like Notre Dame is booking my tour. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Surprised it didn't rain fire today when I came in. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's a good batch. <laughs> they do something with the tab here, and it's, it's delicious. It's just... oh. There's so many ingredients. It says at the bottom of the can, see other can. <laughs> It's got two, it's just two servings. Like any of you have ever drank a beer or a soda and went, oh boy, I'm packed now. <laughs> Jeez, oh, better put that in the fridge, huh? No. <laughs> it's been so insane, because I've had to take planes all over on tour, you know, like, like, see, I don't fly well to begin with, you know, I had, I had to take one of those little tiny planes, you know, those, like, I was on, one of, I was on a prop jet. Do you know what that is? I'm on a prop jet. That's those little tiny. <laughs> and you, you know, by looking at me, you say, no way, but I'm not, I'm not really good on planes, you know? <laughs> so I'm tooling around. I'm on this little tiny, like this little, like, it was, you know, one of those, those little planes. One of those, you know, it's one of those little, like, Buddy Holly killing planes, you know? <laughs> Bamba, you know? <laughs> I turn into the guy from the Twilight Zone movie. I'm going, there's a man on the wing of this plane. There's a man on the wing of this plane. Woo. You know, people criticizing Dan Quayle's military record. Hey, man, the entire time Dan Quayle was in the National Guard. Not once did the Viet Cong invade our homeland. <laughs> Apparently they were too busy keeping the kids in Kent State in line. <laughs> what do you mean, boo? There's a boo. Why, what do you think, why are you, what are you booing? What, you thought those kids should have eaten lead at Kent State? I don't know. <laughs> I was making a joke about the fact that they were needlessly slaughtered. Come on, don't confuse me. <laughs> I don't mind your opinions, but if you're gonna hate me, just understand why you hate me. Learn to hate correctly, that's my... <laughs> <sighs> See what's new? I don't know, Reagan? You think he's really just gonna retire? Mm, I don't know. He's got too big of an ego. You're gonna see him, but yeah, he won't go away. He's gonna rear his ugly head. He'll be like in, he'll be like in Superman 8. He'll be Jor-El's dad or something. You know? <laughs> George Bush, not the smartest guy in the world. I mean, if he really wanted to be president, all he had to do was go up behind Reagan and go, ah! <laughs> It's very confusing right now. Pardon me? What? It's okay. 
that's the one chance you get to talk to me. <laughs> Can't very well heckle my movies. <laughs> I let the critics do that, actually. <laughs> I don't know, I watch Rex Reed, guy goes totally mental on me, like, like I burned his Diana Ross albums or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm watching Bill Harris and Rex Reed and they bring me up and like, I am Rex Reed's kryptonite. <laughs> you gotta go, and Bill Harris goes, well, I saw Bob go through and burglar and he made me laugh and Rex totally snaps, like he goes, he made you laugh. <laughs> I saw it and a couple people were clapping and laughing in the theater I saw it and they were booing him. And that really hurt my feelings because because I've always been such like a big Rex Reed fan, you know? Like, like, like when he was in the gong show, man, you know? I always thought he had like this third eye for talent, you know? He was, woo, he was insightful, it was frightening. He knew that the guy who juggled fish would go places. <laughs> I watched 30 something, um, totally by mistake. I just thought it was like, I thought it was like a really long Nissan ad. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? When you watch TV, you know, the, the wiggly TV commercial, suddenly the camera's all over the place. Like, like what is going Like, David Byrne from the Talking Heads is operating the camera. <laughs> you may ask yourself, why is this camera commercial so wiggly? You know, <laughs> same as all the other commercials. <laughs> oh, let's see what's new. Oh, Lord Almighty. I don't drink, I don't take drugs. Um, I don't applaud that. If I got shit face, I'd probably start talking about insurance premiums. <laughs> but, you know, I, you know, I'd be lying if I said I didn't use